Yoshi and my personal project was creating a math book for grade 9 to help and support them throughout the process of criteria A, B, C and D in their academic journey in MYP4 and as my research shows that most textbooks don't really go in depth about how they should answer questions based on criteria and how they can use a theoretical subject in real life and that is what I wanted to achieve so I used the opportunity for a personal project to create the book Unlocking Mathematics. To create all of this I had to write a report uh, which shows my action plan, my success criteria and all of the research skills and uh, evaluation that I had to do to create this. Hello, my name is Austin. This is my personal project. Um, my personal project is to create a Japanese learning website. The reason why learning a new language is a good thing is as research shown, people who learn language have a better memory, problem solving, and critical thinking skills, and it also help their brain. Um, for my website, um, it's a language learning website that's clearly focused on Japanese, that talking about Japanese word that is used on daily basis and also daily words. Um, in my, for my lesson, I have created uh, 10 lessons and including two tests in between, um, which is going to test, which is going to start from basics like the alphabets, and then at the end, it's gonna be some more advanced such as conversation and grammar. Um, also having tests to prove that did you learn well? And also why learning Japanese is good. It's cool, isn't it? and for my personal project I decided to create a two-minute 2D animation about neuromarketing which is basically marketing psychology how customers in the fashion industry are um, influenced to buy a product um, so I actually started off by creating a mind map for ideas that I came up with for the apps that I can use the colors that I need to use in my animation to appeal to my audience um, I also conducted a survey uh, which I sent out to actual clothing business owners to get their input on the idea and, what, and ideas that I can include in my own presentation. Um, this is the cover side for my animation and yeah, the one thing I definitely learned is uh, about in general how customers are influenced by clothing business owners such as the use of charm pricing and uh, pricing psychology as well as ideal sourcing. My name is Giacomo and for my personal project I decided to learn more about football and the written news revolving around football. And this is because football is a sport that I'm really passionate about. I watch football, I play football, I read about football, I live football. So with the World Cup coming up, like before a personal project, I decided that I would write a news bulletin about the World Cup because it's the most important sport event in the world and it happens only once every four years. So to write a news bulletin, I had to think about lots of different things like the template, the colors. So I researched all of that and I decided to make a template where I would have three pictures in each slide. And I would also have some background information on each of the matches and then have my own take. Because a lot of news bulletins are just very informal and I wanted to make mine more involved with the audience and I wanted to make it more personal as well. So I, I wrote six entries and each entry happened after, after each big stage of the World Cup. So I wrote an entry after the group stages, an entry after the round 16, an entry after the quarterfinals, all the way up to the final. And I'd say one thing I learned and that I really had to apply in this is the writing conventions. And I really had to write for a specific audience. So it was very important to choose my audience well. So now, 